Hello, in this video I will talk about new types of masks, which had never existed before. 3D HSL Masks Let's investigate the situation when 3D masks work better than HSP masks. Triple HSP masks allow you to select a color based on its three characteristics, hue, saturation, and brightness. When the final mask is based on the multiplication of three simple masks, HSP masks have certain limitations. I will demonstrate this with an example. I have loaded this hue gradient on brightness and saturation. For the sake of convenience, I will go into comparison mode and turn on the mask preview. Let's say I need to select dark red and light blue color at the same time. I cannot do this using HSP masks. If after adding a dark red color, I add a blue hue to the mask, the light blue color won't happen because I will need to set another range for saturation and brightness. Okay, I'm going to do it now. Light blue appeared in the mask, but now I have blue color in the shadows and red color in the highlights. As soon as I remove the effect from the shadows, I lose the dark red. I can remove the light red from the mask by removing the effect from the highlights, but the light blue will disappear. Therefore, I have to remove the red color completely to leave only the blue color in the mask. So I added the light blue to the mask, but there is no red at all. That is, I cannot select dark red and light blue at the same time. And now let's see what happens when using 3D masks. In 3D masks, I can immediately select colors that I need just by clicking them with my mouse, and I can choose any set of colors I need. Let's see 3D masks interface. It consists of a 3D chart where you can see the mask colors in 3D. You can even rotate them by holding the left mouse button. This is how my mask looks in 3D. To add a color to the mask, you can use a tool for dragging a single point. In order to select a wider color range, you can use the four points tool. It is enough just to click on the right colors or to move the cursor over the image while holding the left mouse button. You can exclude unnecessary color from the selection by clicking it with the Alt key. To the right side of the 3D chart, there are control buttons. With the help of this button, you can clear the mask or reset it. Next comes the mask fill and its invert function. The expand button expands the selected color range. The contract button correspondingly compresses it. Next comes smooth button. With this button, you can smooth sharp color transitions on the border of the mask. The last button, on the contrary, makes the boundaries of the mask sharper. Now, I would like to demonstrate the use of masks with a real example. This photo was sent by a child photographer, Dmitry Ivanov, linked to his Instagram in the video description. He asked to make the background a single color. I'll try to do it first with HSP masks. If I adjust the ranges for saturation and brightness, it becomes clear that I cannot set the hue. The same hue appears both in the background and on the table. The difference is only in its saturation and brightness. Since the masks are the combination of hue, saturation, and brightness ranges, I cannot separate them. I'll try to do it by using 3D HSL masks. I'm going to choose Four Point Tool and select the colors I need. This is how it is. Now, with the help of curves, I will make the background uniform. This is before and after. Let's take a look at 100% scale. I'm loading another image. It was sent by Carl Lee. This is the same task of cleaning the background. The background was light gray. It was illuminated by a light source with a pink color filter. In the background, there are folds that spoil the photo. It would take a long time to clean the background manually, so I'm going to select the background using 3D HSL masks. Note that the background is not fully selected, but as soon as I increase the size of the LUT, artifacts disappear. LUT size is of great importance when working with masks. In this case, the LUT of size 64 should cope with this problem. In order to transfer such a large LUT to Photoshop, the tick, Always Save 3D LUT with Size 64, must be unchecked. 
By default, 3D LUT Creator sends a LUT to Photoshop with size 40. This photo has been already loaded into Photoshop. Therefore, in 3D LUT Creator with the mask preview turned on, I hold the Shift key and press LUT to PS button. The size of the LUT is large, so the transfer process will take longer than usual. In this case, only the selection will be transmitted. I will create a new layer with a mask based on my selection. And now I'm going to fill it with a radial gradient using the colors from the original image. I can leave it that way, or I can invert the gradient. This is what happens. This is before and after. Let's see it at 100% scale. If something does not suit me, I can fix the edges with a soft brush. I hope this lesson was useful to you. Now, as a retoucher or a colorist, you have another powerful tool in your arsenal. 3D HSL Masks. Good luck.